we can build things like this, which is um, a voltage references. So here we've we've strung three diodes together. We've applied 10 volts there and we've got a resistor at the bottom here. There's always going to be when this is fully conducting because this is a large voltage, 10 volts. It's um, we can say that this point here is always going to be larger than this point. And what is the voltage drop across this diode? Well, we know that if we go back to the plot here, we can see that once this uh, forward voltage is reached, we get this increase in current, but not much further increase in, in the voltage. So in essence, what we've got is a constant voltage here of around 0.65 to 0.7 volts, which means we can very easily predict what the voltage is gonna be at this point by 10 minus this voltage drop, which is 9.3. And likewise, if this is 9.3, it's gonna be bigger than this point, we can say 9.3 minus this uh, 0.7, or you could say 10 minus two volt drops there is 8.6, and likewise that we get a voltage point here. So we can use this to tap off different voltage levels using this, this diode arrangement. This system here, we know that this combination is gonna be three times 0 0.7. So we can, we, we can determine what the voltage is gonna be across this R. And therefore we can always determine that we're gonna get a fixed voltage, this 2.1 volts, across the uh, the R load. Here we are using a Zener diode. Bearing in mind the, the, the Zener diode, it is designed to uh, conduct in this fashion if its reverse voltage uh, is exceeded. So whatever the VZ uh, parameter is, let's say, let's say this is uh, five volts, then what this means is this voltage output will be fixed at five volts. If this was 10 volts, it would mean that there will be five volts across RS and constant five volts across this load here. If we take this to 20 volts, this will still remain at five volts and this will be 15 volts. So we can use it for voltage regulation. Here we've got uh, an example of Zener clipping. So we've got a sinusoid waveform and um, this is the uh, reverse breakdown voltage of VZ. So if this was say um, three volts, then this would be fixed at three volts here. The other side of the waveform effectively will be fixed at this 0 0.7 volts, which is a standard 0 0.7 volts forward bias voltage across a silicon diode. And by all means, build build these circuits into uh, LT spice. They're very easy to put together, and you'll be able to understand and take measurements at different points. So this is the tube screamer arrangement. This here is the back-to-back -back diode arrangement. So this will help clamp this output signal at a particular level. And as we change the gain of the amplifier here, we either uh, bring in this circuit to start clipping or or not. So I've just expanded this out here so you can see this is the amplifier circuit. This here, this is just a little smoothing. Remember an RC is uh, effectively, you know, a filter arrangement. So whilst we can get harsh clipping, what this uh, filter will do is kind of just help to smooth off these distortion characteristics. So this is taking an AC signal here. So we get AC um, like this. And what this diode does is it kind of, if we look at this, expand out this waveform, during this positive cycle here, this diode is forward bias, whereas during the negative cycle, it's reverse bias. So we get current flow in one way, but it blocks the other way. And what that does, it allows this capacitor to charge up. And that's what happens here. So during the positive cycle, capacitor charges up, during the negative cycle, the capacitor discharges through this uh, RL resistor, doesn't go, doesn't go back into the system. So what we get at this point here is this charge up discharge, and we effectively almost get 
a DC level, obviously with ripple here. So LEDs, they're just forms of PN junctions. Um, they're, they're active in their, in their forward bias region. That's how we, that's how we use them. The IV characteristics, so what I mean by that is the, the current voltage characteristics. So we saw whoop, there was that type of curve is similar to a standard uh, diode. But we often see with LEDs that the, um, the, the VF is in, typically in the region 0 0.5 to 2.5, depending on the, the LED you choose. And it can, it can vary quite wildly, so uh, you should really look at the data sheets to, to check on the uh, LED parameters. So how to wire an LED, this is, um, this is an important factor when we're using any kind of diode, whether it's an LED, Zener, or whatever, is we also include um, this R resistor. Um, now, what that does is, if we think about the current, once this VF forward bias uh, voltage is met, this can go off to infinity, this I. So what we have to do is include an R, which will limit this I current in and stop the diode from burning out or the LED from burning very brightly, very quickly, and then popping. So we, we include an R. So how do we choose the value of R uh, when we've got an LED? Well, that's it's just a simple potential divider circuit, really. But if you look here, we've got R equals the uh, VSS minus V diode. VSS being your, your input voltage. And then we... Uh, if we if we know the input voltage and we know the uh, forward voltage drop across the LED, then whatever's left is going to be dropped across the R resistor. And basically, if we know the IMAX current that's specified in the data sheet of the uh, LED, then we can calculate this this value of R. Thank you.